All right. Up next, what if Silicon Valley built the Food and Drug Administration? That's the business model of our next Squawk Breakthrough, trying to help consumers learn what's really inside their vitamins and energy drinks. But why should we trust their ratings over the federal government? The CEO will make that case when Squawk on the Street comes back. Valley rebuilt the Food and Drug Administration. That's the premise of today's squad breakthrough. Unlike prescription and over-the-counter drugs, the FDA does not yet vet vitamins and energy drinks for safety and efficacy before they hit the market. Startup Labdoor provides independent product safety research and grading to help consumers learn what's really inside their vitamins. Neil Fanadar is the founder and CEO of Labdoor. He joins us this morning from San Francisco. Neil, good to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, at first blush, it looks like you're really trying to ride the coattails of a market that's already on fire, right? Yes, the market's grown eight times in the last 20 years, uh, and, and that's made it very difficult for the FDA and other organizations to really keep track of, of the industry, uh, and so that's where Labdoor comes in. You have a degree in chemistry. You actually ran one of the approval labs for the FDA. Some might wonder, though, um, you know, who died and made you king, right? Why do you deserve the right uh, to sort of grade these products, and, and how do you do it? So what we do is we take every product straight off the shelf, just like consumers would buy them, uh, get them into an FDA-registered lab uh, where we can reverse engineer them and see ingredient purity, label accuracy. Uh, then we can publish those grades and rankings for consumers. Uh, so they can either listen to our, uh, our advice or they can uh, look at the data and pick for themselves. Neil, I love the idea. I'm curious about the business behind it. It looks like nutritional supplements are, are more than a $30 billion market uh, by some estimates. You make money uh, by uh, linking to products that sell, uh, to sites that sell these products. Also by giving full reports on the nutritional content of these uh, to nutritionists and others. W which part of, uh, which segment do you expect to be the bigger business? The bigger consumer segment or selling deep info to nutritionists and trainers? So I think consumer market will always drive the business. Uh, we've been very focused on making sure that the uh, that we have the best information for consumers so they can really make the best purchasing decision. Uh, and I think that that retail market really needs to be disrupted. Over 90% is still offline. And I think that's because consumers don't have a great uh, purchasing decision. Neil, you run an FDA registered lab and you look at some items that have been evaluated retroactively by the FDA. I'm thinking about Monster Beverage, Five Hour Energy, some of these products the FDA has actually gone back after consumer complaints and said, wait a second, we need to do some investigations here. What do you think the risk is that the FDA does decide to branch into this space that you've created a niche in? I think what's really important is actually that Labdoor can, can help test more and more products and get more consumer feedback. So we could be a great front end for the FDA. Uh, so instead of them looking at 50,000 or 100,000 products in this industry, they can just look at the few hundred products that we've said uh, could have potential issues. Any conflict in grading products, but also selling some on your own? Uh, what we've seen is that consumers really love that the business model is attached to their value proposition. So if we are the best, most trusted source for this kind of information, people will keep coming back to us and buying through us. Uh, and so we love the fact that consumers can really make that decision for us. Well, what do you think people would find most surprising about their vitamins or their energy drinks? What are some misconceptions that you've been able to fix through your research? We found that the average protein powder has nearly twice as much sodium versus their label claims. Uh, we've also seen uh, gummy vitamins that have less than 40% of the vitamin content and less than 70% of the mineral content uh, versus their claims as well. Wow. What about anything, Neil, that might be better for you than you expected? I know, obviously, adult gummy vitamins, a lot of people said maybe they're too good to be true, they taste too good, and some of these supplements that have mercury, lead, pesticide, there's a lot of stuff that Obviously, it's worse for you once you crack it open, but what could be better for you? Uh, our fish oil analysis, we found a lot of positive news. Uh, all the products were uh, tested very favorably for, for low mercury levels and had great EPA, DHA, omega-3 content, all that are highly doctor recommended. Uh, is there any way for you to capitalize on bricks and mortar sales? I mean, people are going to take this around, maybe go to Whole Foods or other places and buy stuff based on your recommendation. Do you just miss out on that transaction? Uh, no, so Labdoor is available on iOS and Android as well, so consumers can take that into the store, uh, get all the rankings and grades, uh, and if they want to make that decision through Labdoor, uh, that's great as well. We just want to be as close to the purchasing process But you possible. don't get paid then, right? 
uh, if they buy through our site, they get paid. And I think over time, we'll start making partnerships with uh, with retailers and, and start getting further into the offline retail process. But what interaction you'll have you had with the GNCs or the vitamin shops of the world that I'm sure would not love the idea of a consumer coming in with this app that basically would say that half of its product aren't as good for uh, consumers as they may be claiming? Well, we've actually seen uh, companies like GNC use Labdoor as a advertising tool. They said, uh, we're highly ra rated on Labdoor, and that's actually their selling point to bring people into stores. And so for us, and for them, I think the idea of uh, a huge store with hundreds of thousands of products, having a site like Labdoor really helps consumers differentiate and make a smarter, faster purchase. I'm definitely thinking of protein powder differently than I did two minutes ago. Neil, thanks so much for your thanks time. For we'll me. see you soon. Neil Thank Thanedar you. with Labdoor out in San Francisco.